But it's love that keeps me here Finding the soul to skin Hey everyone, this is C from simplygfx.org and today I'm going to be making a button like this one. Now these are really easy to make once you get the hang of them and you can use them for your web design projects or your website. Let's get started with a new file and I'm making mine 500 by 500 pixels. Now obviously we're not going to have a button this big so I'm just starting with the size to work with a nice big canvas and after I'm done I'm going to crop it and adjust whatever I need to. Now obviously you need a shape for the button and you can use a rectangle or you could use a rounded rectangle which is what I went for because I liked the round smooth edges and you're going to pick no style and I just picked um, a nice blue color to work with for the rest of the button and this is going to be like uh, my reference color. So okay, let's start with a nice shape for our button. And I've just made mine this size, no reason, just that size. So double click your shape layer and you're going to make a nice gradient for this. So go to gradient overlay and then you're going to click the little gradient and just double click to pick a color for your first um, shade. And I used my reference color and I made it darker for my base and then I made a new little color tag and I used my reference color for this one and it's just a nice medium blue. Now adding more color to my gradient just to give it more variance, I clicked the middle and I got my reference color of course and I'm just making it a little more darker for the middle of my button. And now you can drag and move these little color tags just to um, change it up a bit. Um, depending on what you like or what you want it to look like, you don't have to do the exact same thing I do. I'm going to get a light blue um, next to white, um, just so it kind of blends with the white. And I'm just dragging it a little further away. Now you can see I left it around 90%. Now that I've got my gradient overlay, I'm going to add a stroke to my button. And this is just going to give my button a nice little outline. Um, and I picked a, oh my god, with a great color. And I'm just going to make the size a little thinner because it's a bit too thick for my taste. Um, and reduce opacity to around 50%. Um, and now I'm going to add a drop shadow. And this is just going to give it a nice, nice little shadow on the behind the button and I left the angle at 135 degrees and reduce opacity of course we don't want some overwhelming creepy shadow on our button so I'm gonna click OK and you can see I've got all my effect layers done now all I need to add is probably some text um, so taking my text tool you can use any font I just used Arial and I'm gonna type in I am a button. Here we go. And now I'm going to make the text color white. Um, click OK. And now I'm going to just move the text around until it, it's OCD enough. Double click your text layer and we're going to add an in the shadow to the text. And I left it at 135. Um, degrees at the angle and I'm going to reduce opacity because you can see it's very dark and I reduced it to around 57 and I'm going to make the distance around a 3 and make the size 2 and I left the choke at 0 now I might just reduce opacity a little bit more to around 50% because it's crowding up my text a bit and I'm going to click a gradient overlay and get my reference color as my first gradient color and I might just leave the other color as white and I reduced opacity to, you've guessed it, 50%. Click OK and yay, you've got your text. Now what I'm going to do is just add some finishing touches by adding a new layer and I'm going to get my brush tool and you want to get the nice soft brush that you can choose from in the brushes palette and you just 
I left mine at 50 and um, I used white and I'm going to paint little soft edges onto my button and this is just going to make my button look softer and give a nice highlight and I reduce opacity to around 30% and now you can see this is our finished button and I'm going to crop it um, just so I get the size approximately right and what you can do is delete the background if you don't want it um, I'm just going to leave mine so you can see my button clearly and we are done so this is our finished result and hopefully this tutorial was helpful but remember to like, subscribe and share the video whether it's to your friends or if you have no friends, family your neighbours, um, anyone really so yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching another Simply Jetfix tutorial and I'll see you next time. Bye!